Namna Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Mate Siddha Swarupananda Parma Amsaite Namine Vajra Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adwaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gurbhakta Vrindam of the name Krishna lived in India in a village called Vrindavan. Krishna was an extraordinary and beautiful child and all the people of Vrindavan loved him dearly. Krishna could do the most wonderful things and I'm going to tell you about one of them. Once upon a time the cowherd men of Vrindavan were getting ready to worship Indra, the king of heaven, who makes the rain. Krishna asked his father, Nanda Maharaj, oh, My dear father, what are you doing? Who are you going to worship? My dear son, this offering is for King Indra, because he makes the rain, and the clouds are his servants, and because water is so important for our living. We must show our thanks to him. After he heard this, Krishna said something that was to make Indra very angry. Actually, Indra was very proud of his powers, so Krishna wanted to teach him a lesson. Krishna said to his father, My dear father, there's no need to worship King Indra. Instead, Please worship Govardhan Hill and let us have nothing to do with King Indra. My dear boy, I shall certainly arrange a separate ceremony for Govardhan Hill. But for now, let us go ahead with our ceremony for King Indra. Oh, my dear father, but we should hurry. The ceremony for Govardhan Hill will take such a lot of time. Better take the things you've made for King Indra and offer them to Govardhan Hill instead. Nanda Maharaj finally agreed and he asked Krishna how they should worship Govardhan Hill. First, make delicious food like rice and dal, halva and puris and all kinds of milk sweets such as sweet rice and ladu and sweet balls. Invite the Brahmins who can chant the Vedic hymns. Decorate the cows and feed them well. After this, the ceremony for Govardhan Hill may begin. This will satisfy me very much. So Nanda Maharaj and all the people of Vrindavan began to worship Govardhan Hill. They gathered together and keeping the cows in front, 
They walked around Gova Downhill. Krishna then ate all the food offered there. When King Indra found out that Krishna had stopped the ceremony for him, he was so angry. As the master of different kinds of clouds, King Indra called for the Shambhataka. This cloud is called upon when there is a need to destroy the whole universe. They are simply people of the forest, but because of their tiny friend Krishna, who is nothing but an ordinary human being, they have dared to defy me. This Krishna is nothing but a child, and by believing him they have enraged me. Sambataka! I order you to go and flood Vrindavan. The men of Vrindavan are too proud because of their riches and their tiny friend Krishna. Krishna is simply talkative, childish, and unaware of the complete cosmic situation. Therefore, they must be punished. They should be destroyed along with their cows. But the Samvataka clouds were afraid to go to Vrindavan. So Indra said to them, You go ahead. I will also go with great storms, riding on my elephants, and I will punish these people of Vrindavan with all my strength and power. Ordered by Indra, all the dangerous clouds appeared above Vrindavan and began to pour water down with all their strength and power. There was lightning, thunder, blowing of strong winds and the rain fell non-stop like piercing sharp arrows. In this way, the clouds filled the land of Vrindavan with water. It was very dangerous, especially for the animals. The rain came with great winds, and every living creature in Vrindavan began to tremble from extreme cold. They all came to Krishna for protection. Dear Krishna, please, Protect us from angry Indra. Krishna, please help us. Please, Krishna. Krishna, please help us. Help us, please. Please save us, Krishna. Krishna immediately thought, Indra thinks he's the Supreme Lord, and he has shown his great power. But I shall teach him he's not the Supreme. I'm the Supreme Lord over all and I shall take away his false pride. I shall protect my dearest friends. I shall save them with my mystic powers. So Krishna picked up Gova Downhill with one hand, exactly as a child picks up a mushroom. <laughs> Yeah. 
Vrindavan and their animals stayed under Govardhan Hill for one week without feeling hungry or thirsty or uncomfortable in any way. They were just astonished to see Krishna holding up the hill with the little finger of his left hand. When King Indra saw the extraordinary power of Krishna, he was thunderstruck. He immediately called for the clouds and told them to stop. The sky cleared up and the sun shone down. The strong wind stopped and the floods went down. All the people and the animals came out from under the umbrella of Govardhan Hill. Krishna slowly put the hill down on the ground. Everyone came and hugged Krishna. The demigods from other planets showered flowers down from the sky and they blew their conch shells. There was beating of drums and tambourines to please the Lord. After this, Krishna, surrounded by his dear friends and animals, went home. One day, later on, King Indra came to see Krishna. He came down from the heavenly planets on his elephant to see Krishna when he was alone. He was very sorry and with folded hands he offered Krishna beautiful prayers. From then on Krishna was known as Govardhan Giridhari which means the lifter of Govardhan Hill. Yeah. 